with the opportunities in the capital market opening up, the equity culture has gained popularity in India. Equity financing is becoming easier and more attractive than debt financing as interest obligations are eliminated. In India, the stock market is not simply a place for traders and buyers who sell bits and pieces of corporate ownership. It remains the only place where fixed capital assets can be converted into high-yielding liquid securities. We at Interglobe Finance sensed your need. From its inception in 1992, April 24th, Interglobe Finance has proved to be a leader. Within October 1993, the company made a successful public issue of 36,80,000 equity shares of rupees 10 each, aggregating rupees 368 lakhs. Its post-public issue share capital stands at rupees 5 crores. Today, Interglobe Finance boasts of the best credentials in the region. Registered as a Category 1 merchant banker with SEBI, it handles all merchant banking activities like issue management, underwriting, investment and corporate counseling, research-based information and advisory services, bill discounting, leasing, loan syndication. The company also has SEBI's approval to conduct portfolio management services. The success of this scheme ensures stronger financial support for its corporate clients. In addition, this enables the company to buy large chunk of equity on firm allotment basis. The company is listed on the Calcutta, Bombay and Delhi stock exchanges. The strong support from its parent stockbroking firm makes Interglobe one of the top fund mobilizers in eastern India. In issue management, we have been involved as merchant bankers in several issues and all the companies have been successful in raising the required funds. We are into investment counseling through our portfolio management scheme which was launched under the brand name of Maxima. We also have a scheme called Equity Enclave targeted towards primary market investors. We are into underwriting business in a big way. The large network of clients and agents of our parent stockbroking company DP Pudan and Company helps us in raising large funds for public issues. Under the able guidance of Mr. D.P. Poddar, the company has attained the status of a pioneer in developing capital markets in eastern and northeastern India. Through its own stockbroking arm, IGF has access to a large network of active subbrokers, high net worth investors, and corporate clients. Though a fledgling, the company was able to soar to great heights, being guided by a visionary, Mr. D.P. Poddar one of the highly esteemed opinion makers in the capital market. In his capacity as managing director of McIntosh Consultancy Services, he had launched Sterling Chambers, the first ever branded portfolio management service, way back in 1989. Ever since his McIntosh days, merchant banking has been Mr. D.P. Puddha's first love. His zeal, accompanied by his business acumen, made it possible for him to achieve revolutionary success in this field. While it is true that we have presence in all the areas of merchant banking, including lending operations like leasing, bill discounting, etc., I want to create a separate niche for Interglobe Finance. Since we have proven expertise in investment management and marketing of public issues, we are focusing our attention on portfolio management, underwriting, and raising of funds for the corporate sector as our core area of business. Information industry is another area which holds an exciting future and we are looking at it with, with great deal of interest. We are planning to develop an information bank to help the domestic and foreign investors in taking rational investment decisions. My vision is to turn Interglobe into an investment and information powerhouse to make it an in engine of industrial growth. A strong believer in building relationships, Mr. Poddar has good rapport with the broking community and other financial bodies. His role as an opinion maker is an additional source of strength for the success of an issue. I am Sundaram. At Interglo, we are totally committed to plan. For us, everyone is special. Whether he is big or small, that makes no difference to us. Uh, we treat you as if you are only friend. I mean, uh, this is the culture we follow in our company. We have your hands on the pulse.
rest of the market all the time and since we have a very strong presence in every part of eastern region and sub brokers who have got very good rapport with the investors you can be assured that your issue is in safe hands i had the opportunity of meeting bp podda several years ago i would meet him fairly frequently and regularly at various professional conferences and seminars and uh, where i was impressed by his depth of understanding of the subject of merchant banking and related operations and his very clear thinking and uh, careful articulation uh, we kept in touch sporadically until about 2 or 3 years ago when he decided to start a merchant banking company of his own and invited me to join the board of directors and in fact take over as the non-executive chairman of the board um, by that time bp had left the marketus and was active as a broker i was aware throughout that he had an excellent reputation in the market in the stock exchange the broking community and in corporate circles not only because of his financial acumen but also because of his integrity now merchant banking is an operation which has been dominated largely by bankers uh, dp i thought would bring to it a new and to my mind a more appropriate dimension of a stock broker who had turned his attention to merchant banking a stock broker knows the market i think better than anyone else and uh, merchant banking requires an intimate and thorough knowledge of the market and an appreciation of how the market operates both in the primary as well as the secondary areas i was very glad to have the opportunity of joining bp's board of interglobe finance <laughs> Education, innovation, the twin pillars on which Arvind International Services is constructed. Its confidence stemming from the coveted group connection. Arvind International Limited is a member of Arvind Group. In 1966, we started with trading of chemicals and solvents in the name of Arvind Industries. By 1970. We went into manufacturing of pellet glass sizes. We were the first in India to make bicycle hexagonal pellets. This item was banned from the import trade, and as such, the local industry was in a fix. We were we were very proud with our R&D and food factor blending. We were also supplying buy and sell pellets to different different industries, buy and sell pellets to consumer industry. Side by side, the group took up marketing of industrial chemicals of leading houses like Hindustan Organic Chemicals, 
Gujarat Nagmada Valley Fertilizers in Kerala Windows and Metals to name a few. With the Indian economy opening up, the group diversified in the financial services sector by starting Merchant Banking Wing, which has already successfully handled two public issues with four more in hand during the current year. Today, the group turnover stands at 17 crores, reflecting a very encouraging past financial performance record. Drawing strength and confidence in the past, Alvin International is now planning to set up a most modern poly urethane foam manufacturing project in the Jaipur, with an installed capacity of 2,400 metric tons per annum. From the bed you sleep on to the stool you sleep on, Polyurethane foam has a vast range of applications. Mattress and pillows, door paddings, seats of automobiles, liners and jackets, rockies, or what have you. And yet, there aren't many quality manufacturers having blocked off an external technology which is less in minimization of waste and also how we need a good quality foam at the cost. Thank you. We are investigating a lot of money for like that, but what can it be for as is already a growth rate of about 15 to 20 percent. If it is a large group, but the latest data that the so-called flat tax this will give us a better product, product and a better price. price. Moreover, we have already, already tied up 60% of, of our sales. sales. As a balance of 50% goods in the three houses, houses as, as well as dealers and distributors have been identified all over India. We foresee a very bright future for, for the, the few projects. projects. The estimates of future profitability, as per the appraisal note of the South Indian Bank Limited, Thank you. 